After you have recorded music in GarageBand, it's important to play that music back to make sure it lines up with the beat. To play music, you can use the transport bar up at the top, rewind, fast forward, rewind all the way back, or go back to the beginning, play, and record. We're going to ensure that our cursor is at the beginning of the region and hit play to listen. Now it sounded like the rhythm of that became less steady as it progressed. A good way to check that is to turn on the metronome and play it back. The metronome icon is over here on the right of this group of four icons. Turn it on, make sure you're at the beginning in the transport bar, hit play again and you'll hear a click track. Now, that piece obviously got more and more rhythmically incorrect as it progressed. I'm trying to play even quarter notes, so each click should correspond to a note. A nice feature about the click track is that you can turn it on and off as the region is playing. Now, you don't have to re-record this music just because there are rhythmic errors. What you can do is quantize this region of music. To quantize a piece of music means to correct any human error. You are telling GarageBand that you didn't intend to play any rhythmic value smaller than a quarter note in this example, and you would like GarageBand to correct anything that doesn't line up exactly on a quarter note. So there are several ways to get to this editing window. The easiest is just to double click on the region that you would like to edit. And the Piano Roll Editor pane appears in the bottom. Another way to open the Piano Roll Editor is to click on the region you would like to edit. You'll see that now it is highlighted. And up here, this is the Editors button. If you click on that, you will get to the Piano Roll again. You can see down here there's a Piano Roll Editor and a Score Editor. We will be working primarily with the Piano Roll Editor. Once you are on this screen, each horizontal dash corresponds with a note from the region above. I can click on any one to hear what it sounds like. You'll also notice on the left here something called Time Quantize. You have lots of different rhythmic values to select from. We are going to use the quarter note. Click quarter note. Click on any one of the notes in this region in the Piano Roll Editor and click Command A to select all of them. Now that all the notes are selected, I can go back over here to the left, click on the Q of the Time Quantize, making sure that it's a quarter note that I'm quantizing. And if you noticed, all the notes moved slightly. Now listen to what it sounds like when I play it back. They all line up perfectly with the click until the very end. So I will scroll over and look, you can see both notes happen at the same time at the end of this region. If I play it back from a little before that, you can see the cursor go by as those notes play. So, it sounds like one of these notes should happen one beat earlier. Quantizing sometimes doesn't always correct the notes the way you expect them to. While it did snap every note to a line, to a quarter note beat, it moved one of them ahead as opposed to back. What happened there is that I played that note so late when recording this music, GarageBand assumed that it was actually early for that last beat as opposed to late for the penultimate beat. But I can correct that by moving that one note alone. So I will click off any note to make sure nothing is selected. You'll see they're all now dark green. I'll grab the one note that I wanted to move and I will pull it back to where it should have sounded. Now listen. Every note is being played on a quarter note. The one last thing I'll show you in this video is that you can adjust the length of these notes. If I want them all to be even, I can just click on the end and drag it forward. You'll see some of these horizontal dashes, some of these notes are longer than others, some are shorter than others. I want them to all be even, so I click on the end of each note and drag it forward so that they each take the span of one beat. They each last the span of one beat.
that one looked okay. And just double check. I can play back one more time. They will now all sound on the quarter notes and they will all be of equal length. And there you have it. That's how to toggle the metronome on and off or to toggle the click track on and off. That's how to open the piano roll editor. That's how you can quantize the notes. And one of the troubleshooting tips when quantizing notes is to make sure GarageBand puts each note where you want it. If one note moves ahead when you want it to move back, you can go in and adjust that manually as we saw. And also you can adjust the length of notes in the piano roll view. And that's it for now.